Hello, everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today, on January the 29th of 2019, uh, On One Photo Raw has just released a brand new update to their Photo Raw software suite, and that is On One Photo Raw 2019.2. And of course, it comes with your standard bug fixes and some performance upgrades, which is nice. So everything got a little bit tweaked, refined, a little bit faster, which is uh, always a good thing. But I want to show you one of the cool features uh, that they added, and it is uh, an AI mask tool. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I will say that there's a few other softwares in the market that have this AI thing, and I haven't really been a big believer in it because uh, they just don't work that good yet. Uh, this one actually impressed me. Now, it's not going to work on every single photo if there's a bunch of repeating patterns and it's something that you couldn't even mask well in Photoshop. Uh, for that, you can use a luminosity mask, and and All One Photo Raw has that built in as well. But for something like this, I want to show you how cool uh, the AI masking tool really is. So if you just go over here and click your masking tool, you'll see this brand new little feature right up here that says AI with a paintbrush. And if you click that, that is your brand new AI masking tool. Uh, so what this does is basically uh, has a red and green paint and you can see the mode is called drop and keep and you basically uh, paint in red over the tones that you want to paint out and you paint in green over the tones that you want to keep in. So for example, let's say that I wanted to cut out the sky here uh, and I want the AI, this new tool to figure everything out for me. I want to stress test this and put it, put it to its test. So I'm basically just going to run my uh, red drop paintbrush here over the sky tones and then I'm gonna hold the option key or the alt key if you're on a uh, Mac like me or alt or option depending on Mac or Windows uh, and then you make it that turns into a green brush and I'm gonna take the green brush across the tree line so it kind of calculates all the tones in the tree line and if this thing actually works then when I hit apply it's going to create its own mask selection and basically individually cut out the sky from the trees so let's see how well this works I'm gonna hit apply Wow. <laughs> so I was actually going to say, I'm assuming it's it's not going to be as good as I think it is, but it actually did a really good job. Look at even, uh, even the tiny little branches sticking up in the sky. So obviously there's a little bit of cleanup, but the cool thing is once you hit done uh, on this and you're happy with it, uh, it actually says refining AI mask. So it actually renders it out as a higher quality mask. It, it does some refining while it renders it. So it actually even further cleans it up from what it's showing you, this, this, this mask preview. And then you can also even further refine it if there's little areas that are sloppy. But look at that. I mean, all I did was literally draw a shape, just a line across the sky and a line across the trees. And their AI masking tool just cut it all out. This is something that I normally do with the quick selection tool in Photoshop. And the quick selection tool always takes a little bit longer. And then I have to make a selection and then zoom in at, you know, two or 300% and fine tune everything by hand. And I've been doing it that way for years in Photoshop. Um, so I haven't been a big believer in these AI tools, but I gotta, I gotta admit, this is pretty darn impressive that it's able to do this. So there you go. Wow. And look how clean it actually rendered out. Isn't that unbelievable? It even calculated for the strong light over here. Uh, that's actually really, really impressive. Um, let's take a look at this here. Wow. That is about as impressive as an AI tool gets, I gotta say. And I'm not I'm not paid, by the way, by On One to do anything like this. They don't pay me to, to review it or say anything. Um, however, they do, this is a good time to mention, they do give me a, uh, a specific coupon code for all of you. So you do get a 20% uh, off uh, coupon code if you use the coupon code Middle Earth, um, and that will actually save you 20% off the full version, which is $99. And if you're a current On One Photo Raw 2018 user, that'll even save you 20% off on the upgrade cost of $79. So that's the cheapest you'll ever get On One Photo Raw for. So there you go, 20% off savings. Uh, they're just really cool people to allow my fans to get those kind of savings. So anyway, what what does this mean? If we've cut out the sky. We can do uh, a few things. We can either keep it this way, we could drop a sky layer in under this, and we could replace the sky. Uh, that's not the kind of processor that I am. I never do sky replacements. I'm just not that, I just, I just don't work that way. Uh, a lot of people do, and that's perfectly fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, duplicate this layer, okay, like this. And there we go. And then I'm gonna reset the mask that's on the bottom. Here's the mask that we created right here. If you click view on the mask, that's what we created with that AI tool. 
And right now, everything in white is going to be selected. So we could we could affect everything that's in white. We can develop it. We can do everything to the white area separate from the sky. Or we can just simply click invert, and we can do something just to the sky and leave the tree line alone. So let's just click invert back to where we were, and let's test this out as just a regular mask instead of like a, a something fancy like a sky replacement. Let's just do this as I would actually work. So let's get out of the view mode here. And I'm actually going to start... Uh, manipulating the foreground and midground separate from the sky. So let's see if we can make this uh, this area where the sunrise is coming in just super punchy without affecting the sky. So look at that, already working. Add some nice contrast, bring down the highlights just a little bit, uh, maybe even crush the midtones so we can really let that that light shooting across the trees stand out. Uh, maybe bump the whites a little bit, add some structure. Add some dehaze. Obviously, I'm just working quickly here, so I'm just kind of testing this out. Let's add some warmth. Now, this is something that's awesome because I hate adding warmth to blue skies. Um, maybe it's just me, but I hate adding warmth to blue skies. I like that natural blue color that the skies render, especially in these early mornings. And so warming it up always kind of feels kind of nasty to me. But look at this. Look how beautiful it's warming up everything without touching the sky. So I'm warming up that golden light that's hitting the trees. And... The sky is still staying perfectly fine. Now let's say we want to do some things to the sky. Well, we just go back over to our bottom layer that does not have the sky cut out, and we can start doing these adjustments on the sky. Bring down the exposure, add a little bit of contrast there. Maybe even, even add a little bit more blues instead of warms. Uh, let's take some structure away from the sky, kind of make it a little, little dreamy. Um, do I want to dehaze it? Maybe a little bit. Uh, bring the highlights down a tad. I want to lift the shadows in the sky a little bit because it's a little dark in the corners of the frame here. Okay, just something simple like that. You know, we'll pop some vibrance in there. And look at that. I mean, obviously, I, this isn't a final shot. I, I would do some more, uh, you know, refinements to it. And I would, I would probably go back into that mask and clean it up a little bit. The nice thing is you could go into the mask. You could view it. You could either take the paintbrush and start fixing everything and make it even more perfect, but look how I mean, look how good it already is. It's crazy. If you wanted to, you can feather it a little bit. So let's get out of the view mode, and let's just feather that mask a little bit to make it kind of blend into the sky even more. And I'll show you what that does if you go to the view mode. You can see how it kind of blurs the mask a little bit. And on a scene like this, where everything is already kind of foggy and hazy, uh, you know, no one will ever know. It's kind of feathering in. That just feathering it just kind of makes everything blend together and play nicely, if you will. So let's get out of view mode. Maybe even uh, feather it a little more. And something like that looks nice. That's just a nice natural looking uh, golden sunrise morning. I actually took this photograph standing off the edge of a, a fishing boat because apparently the only way you can get to this certain part of this lake uh, where I live is, is with this tiny little fishing boat because the, the water is really shallow here. So uh, anyway, there you go. There's the new AI masking tool. I hope you guys get a chance to have a play with it. You can obviously do the On One Photo Raw free trial. Uh, if you're a 2019 user, you'll already have this update. Uh, again, if you haven't bought this, you can use my coupon code Middle Earth to save 20% off. Uh, and if you're a 2018 user and you want to upgrade, then the upgrade cost is 79 plus I can save you 20% off of even that. So hope you guys enjoy the savings. Uh, on One is going to continue doing their updates, and I can only imagine it's going to continue getting better and better as always. They keep making these little refinements and adding features and they always do it in such a timely manner and they they do their updates and their new versions every year and uh they're they're just they're making great strides in short amounts of time and they, they keep impressing me with everything they do with their software so uh well done to on one photo raw and if you guys have any questions or comments or anything leave those down below thanks so much and i'll see you guys in the next one